Let's, this is Adam Colton coming at you in my house with chicken in my teeth. That's right. Okay, I'm gonna show you from Canva, exporting a 300 DPI image, bringing it into Photoshop, and then putting it to your printful store. Are you ready? So in Canva, it's pretty easy if you wanna come up with different you know, design ideas to you know, hit the copy button, because it's all about the right text. Um, I set up on this text combo right here. So we're going to export this, okay? So we're going to download. Okay, we want to export as a PDF print. That's the way you're going to get the 300 DPI. Uh, usually that's what's required to get really good high quality print on demand files and products. We're going to select page three because that's the page I like the best. And we're going to hit done. We're going to hit download. Or let my computer do its thing. Bam. Okay. Now we're going to go into Photoshop. Okay. We are going to open our downloaded file. Okay. It's a PDF. Shabam Ram. It's 300 DPI, like I said. RGB color profile. So I create these files really big. That just gives me room to work with. Like if I want to put them on a blanket who knows, or a shirt or something big. You can always downsize, but you can't really upsize. Okay, one thing I learned, I learned from the experts, I'm not a crazy expert, but there's this thing called print colors. Neon colors, there's a certain range that the printers cannot handle, okay? And to test out if your colors qualify, you go view, gamut, warning, okay? And as you can see, the blue and the purple do not work for the printers, okay? So we keep this on, okay, and we come down to our layers. We're gonna do an adjustment layer. We're gonna do hue and saturation, okay? Then you pick the color layer, so we'll go blue, and then you adjust the saturation down, and look, there they are. They come back, so making a different kind of saturation makes it work with the printers, okay? So we can, you can adjust it a little more, if you hit Command Y on a Mac, it'll show you what the actual print file looks like. And look, slight difference, but not much. Maybe you can bring down the saturation a little more, get a little closer. That's pretty good. Not a lot of difference. The purple's a little more muted on the print, but not bad. Okay? So these colors will print. Okay? Now we're going to delete the white background. A little secret I learned is this continuous is usually checked by default, but if you take off the continuous, it's gonna select all the white. So I don't have to hit the shift key and select in here, select in here, select in here. It's just gonna do it automatically, one click. Okay. It's gonna do its little thinking. And this is a like a 50 inch by 50 inch file, it's huge. All right, it's thinking. You can do it, computer. Okay. Delete. Actually, I'm on my hue saturation layer. I'm going to click my layer down here. Delete. Come on, baby. It's thinking. There you go. And then we'll click away. And if we look, we got all the white. Even got all the white in the detail of this text, which is pretty impressive. Okay. Now from here, I like to crop the image. Like to the actual image. And I have the snap tool turned on. My computer's really struggling right now. All right, there we go. So it's gonna snap into the image, okay? Snap. This just allows you to upload the file and without all this negative space. Snap. Hit enter, and there we go, okay? So this is an example, but we'll, I'll save it again. So I already did it earlier today. We're just going to save it as a you know, demo. Okay, as a P, as a Photoshop file for later use. But what we're going to upload is a PNG file to Printful. That's the recommended file. Now what we can do here is in Printful, we can actually go to Printful and see what the max max file sizes. So what I usually do is so you come to your product template and I prefer to duplicate the template if you, you know, already have a mug made. I'm going to put this on a mug. Okay, so say I have mugs in my store. I'm going to duplicate. If you don't, you just hit 
you know, create a new product template. So I'm going to duplicate. Okay. So from here, we can then edit product template. And this is where we can find the, all the sizing right here. Okay. So print files. So the max height is 3.5. Okay. So I'm going to set this to 3.5. That'll give me some wiggle room here. Okay. Okay. You can do it in mid size. Okay. Now we're gonna we're gonna save as, and we're gonna save as a PNG. So from that save as, it doesn't let me save. So I gotta save as copy. PNG. Okay. Demo copy. Save. Large file. Hey, right, let's go back into here. We're going to delete the graphic we had on here. Okay, I'm going to choose our file, which is in my downloads folder. So click upload, and then we're going to our downloads folder. And here we go. Demo copy PNG. So it should take up the whole height of the mug once it's uploaded. All right, hit place. And there you go, it takes up the whole height. So then what I do, because I like the graphic on both sides of the mug, we duplicate the design, and now it mirrors itself. What's cool, if you go, it'll snap. See how, see how it snaps? It snaps in the center. Now for me, I don't like the graphic to take up the whole print area. I feel like it looks a little too big, in my opinion. So this is his personal preference. I like to make it a little smaller. So you click on the image. You don't have to hold down shift. It holds dimensions for you and you just can shrink it a bit. So we'll say right about there. Okay. Let's see if it snaps, snaps in the spot. So that's what it calls the center here. And then we can go position tab and we can center it, align it from up and down, which it is. So if it wasn't aligned up and down, so it was up here, hit this, it's going to align it to the center up and down. Mock view. This, I love this feature in Printful. You can really get a good idea of what it looks like. Um, and then I have all these colors selected, which is nice. You can even do this 3D view, which is pretty rad. Let's see here. Yeah, and you can toggle it around to kind of see what it looks like, get a sense. All right, so that looks good. Now, if you want to change up the colors, you come back to the product tab, and this is where you can add colors and take away colors. But I like all these colors, and again, you can see all the colors, mock-up view, and then if you scroll down, you can see all the mock-ups it gives you. So, it's pretty neat. And when you're satisfied with that, hit continue, name your template, Ice Skate Rainbows Copy, save product template. And then from here, if your Etsy store is connected, you just hit add to store. Now a thing to note, if we go back in here, I would take these huge files and then upload them in here. And they would work, but the DPI, see this DPI is 359, that's fine. That's a good like uh, quality. But the, but I would take a 50 inch image and bring it in here and it would shrink it to this size about, and it would be like 4,000 DPI. And what would happen is the printful printers would have such a huge file and then they would use their algorithm or whatever and compress it even more. And when it would compress it more to make it work on here, it would kill the quality. So I was getting these sample mugs that were really pixely and jagged and for the life of me, I couldn't figure it out because I thought like I had this crazy 4000 DPI resolution, I should be more than good. But that's not the case. If you go too high, it's a bad thing. So stick to, they say between like 300 and like 600. Don't go above 600. But if you can get it as close, close to 300 or a little bit above, that's ideal. And the file and the file quality, but really good print quality will be excellent. So, um, actually, if you want to know a little secret, this is what the, the people I tell you. There's 24-hour support on Printful. It's amazing. A little secret is if you go to Design Maker, okay, you can actually see what the printed file is going to look like. Okay, so if we go. Um, so we go to white glossy mug here, okay, 
This will give you the actual print file that you can see what it's going to look like printed on your mug. Okay, so we can choose our file again, place it. Okay, we're going to remember duplicate. It's going to mirror itself. It's going to snap into the grid. Okay, we're going to shrink it a little bit. My personal preference. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to hit generate files. Okay. We don't want any of these previews, so we can uncheck all these previews. We're after the print file, okay? So we want this print file, and we want it in a PNG, okay? So generate files, and then download file, okay? It's gonna download your file, here we go. So if we go to our downloads folder, this is gonna be the print file. So look how crisp that looks. I mean, so when my 4,000 DPI image, there, this rainbow would be a little jaggedy right here. You're like, dang, you know? Now, this text is supposed to look like this. It's kind of a funky text. But you see how sharp it is? So this is a good way to show you what, exactly what your print file is going to look like on the mug. If I had known this trick and I had done this with my 4,000 DPI image, this print file would have came back all jaggedy, and I'd been like, what the, what the heck, you know? So this is a good way to test it. And, and you don't have to save this. This was just like a fun little thing we did here. So, yeah. So that's some, some tips. Um, check out my store if you want to see some of my fun mugs and stuff and hats and T-shirts. It's adamcoltonstudio.com. I'll put the link in the description. But, yeah, that's the I Ride Rainbow mugs I just uploaded to Etsy. And um, what's nice about this is Printful pushes all these images over to Etsy for you, which is really fun. And yeah, you can see. So yeah, I'll come out with some more helpful videos as I learn. You know, I'm going through all this myself, learning and asking tons of questions on Printful support, and they've been really helpful. So if I can help you guys out, I'm very stoked. So, adios, so kisses.